this is how bull- I- I do today, not agree with this. Today, that's correct. This today, is that's nonsense. Correct. Like he wants I do not call. agree with this at all. So this, whatever this is, I'm not signing off to. You can put me in the video. <laughs> that's why they got us to sign off before the video started. <laughs> yeah, mate. Is, that, yeah, you're done. is that what we signed? Yeah. I, I agree with this. Your face is by this eleven. Come the thumbnail. This is bull. Dancing the cha cha, <laughs> Flav and his partner. Turkish. Got <laughs> on, mate. Right. You saying, Flav? You good? Good. James. Yeah. Are you not actually gonna? You're right. Yeah. Does. You oh, can right see it. Can see it. Yeah. Do you like my What's table? What's your name no, again? It? James. James, right? James. Okay. How well, are we you feeling? Like, mate, you don't know each other, yeah? I, I don't know. Just, I've just seen before, him on yeah. YouTube. He's quite yeah, a big deal on yeah. YouTube. Okay. About as far as I know. You've got that great podcast, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fine, cock. Right. So we have. <laughs> so we've got a table here, and then on the table we have a pitch. And we're going to do something pretty spicy, which is try and put together a combined 11 yeah. of the current two squads of Arsenal and Tottenham. All right, so shall we begin? Yeah. Where, uh, let's, let's begin in a hotly contested area, in my opinion, mm-hmm. the midfield area. Let's start with Arsenal then. You've got so many options there. Yeah. What, what yeah. would be your three? Or do you want to get ahead of this? Uh, well, I'm just saying there's two here for Spurs, so you can have rice mm-hmm. if you like. Do you want to know my three? Go on. Partey, rice. And for that comment, Odegaard. <laughs> <laughs> because this one, this one, I don't mind a little debate about because I like Madison a hell of a lot. And we, we're going to talk about Madison shortly. I'm going to let you yeah, let yeah. you talk about him first. But the reality is there's no debate here for me. Partey on form is the best six out of the lot. And there's no debate here because you need to have Declan Rice in this free. And what Declan Rice does, Partey doesn't. What Partey does, Declan Rice doesn't. Rice has to play there. Rice has to play there because there's too much talent here. Okay, so it, it, okay, so are, are we are we going to do two at once? Let's say. Well, I'm going to agree gonna, on Rice here. If we are going to six, I'll, I'll I'll hold my hands up with that. So you're, okay, you're giving <laughs> you're giving one away. Rice is better than Basuma at, 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 at the time of recording. Then this is what I'm going to this is what I'm bringing in. <laughs> if Rice goes there, Old, older guard goes here. Can I just before we do that? How might how would you dis, how would you debate that then? Okay, so let me do your job for you. Go on then. Right. So I I thought you would have liked what Turkish has put forward there because I think there's a world where you could have a combined eleven, and you can have Declan Rice as an eight, you can have Basuma as a six, and and you can live in a world with Madison who is there. I think there's an argument there. But you haven't even. And that's met- two out of your three. I'm not really bothered about I this. Take it. I'm not, no, and no, no, run no, with no, it. No, you know what? I'm, I'm backtracking. It's rice for here because I see what James is trying to do. <laughs> there's, no, there's no chance of it happening. Rice is my option. I'm not trying to do anything. No, I've, I've, heard, totally I've, heard, I've heard enough. <laughs> rice is here. I think Flav agrees, and, and James, you've already spoke. Right, and these two is where I'm going to blow your we'll bloody mind. Okay, we'll get, okay, into, okay. We'll get into that. So, first one's done. Please. Yeah, to let's go. Second Rice makes it in as the sixth. Okay, <laughs> where would you like to go next, Fab? In that midfield, then. Uh, I'm going to go Bentancourt here. Oh. Okay. Bentancourt. Let me tell you, Bentancourt has had horrendous injuries, right? But he is the most underrated midfielder in the Premier League. So much so that actually he's begins to be not underrated. Some people start to rate him now. Right. But before it was just the Spurs fans. This kid is incredible. And if I was building a combined eleven that would undoubtedly win the league, Bentancourt would be in that midfield. You've lost, you've lost James. Uh, yeah, is Bentancur not there? No, Bentancur is not there. Bentancur is exactly where I said he would be. My problem with that is there's two names that I can't overlook for those two positions. And I'm being fair here because one of those is a Tottenham name and it's not Bentancur. It's James Madison. 100%. And you can't look past Odegaard. I'm going to throw his name into the, into the mix Dude, as I well, understand cause... why you're going to throw it in. Obviously I would if, I was, if the roles were reversed. But he's just a man who just doesn't, just doesn't appear in big games. Just doesn't do it, does he? <laughs> that's unfair. I think that's like, even last season. Look, look, look at the look at his performance across the season. Fifteen goals, matching De Bruyne's record for uh, goals from a midfielder in, no, his, but, in his first real season as captain as well. But can for I tell Arsenal you why stats club? aren't that important? Because Perisic has eleven assists in the Premier League last year. Would he get anywhere near this team? Perisic in, uh, on his day is quality. But so he, we're having Perisic. Really, no, oh, we have Perisic. What's happening here? Why are you fighting for the Tottenham? And you're fighting for the Arsenal. No, because he's using Perisic as a barometer for you know stats don't mean nothing. But Perisic is a quality player in his day. He was you know up there with the very so best. So can we but, quickly just maybe have Perisic? No, no, no. Here? Let's oh, move right, back. Okay. Let's move back to here. Right. Oldegaard has to pick up one of these two positions. I'm sorry, I don't know how James feels, but he has to. He was the second best, I say, just behind the brain because of De Bruyne's clutch moments towards the end, but he was the second best midfielder in the league last if season. If you could swap Odegaard for Madison, would you swap him? No. Lies. And see, this is where I think, you know, with a combined 11, you've got to manage the combined 11. Right. And this is where I think you've made a grave error. 
Stop because, saying that. It's twice you well, said because that. I, I think the obvious thing now becomes that it's, it's Madison and, oh, and Odegaard. Yes. If you've got a final, an FA Cup final, mm-hmm. and you can play Odegaard or Madison in that final, it's more for you, Turkish, I think. I think you're a bit more neutral on this one. Who would you like to play in that game, in that final? Odegaard. Okay, you did his got, poker face there. You can try right, all sure you like. You can try all you want. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, okay, that's, that's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. So, but, that's you're fine. on the board. What was that thing you said about when I would have got two? Yeah, yeah, we can well, talk about that. I know it's done, but what was it? Let's not look backwards. I think you could have lived in a world where you could have had Basuma and Madison. No one wants to live in that world, though. But what, instead of rice? That world's gone. Right, let's move on to the front three. Let's go left to right. Who would you like on the left hand side? Challenge. It's not. I mean, not for you. It isn't definitely. <laughs> um, Perisic. <laughs> Perisic had eleven assists <laughs> in the league last season. If he was fully yeah. fit, you've got to accept the stats. Yeah. <laughs> on, by your own admission, he is a great player. And well, if we look at Martinelli's numbers, then yeah, we won't talk about Perisic's. Um, how do I defend this? How do, how do I do this? <laughs> it feels like a short. There's a balance between defending your club and you know your your reputation still up. Oh, that's in Taz. That's been in Taz years ago. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. I just there's there's no one on the left that I could possibly put in ahead of Martinelli. That's just the issue. Yeah, I feel like this is very very simple. I think it's Harry Kane's already f***ed us, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. I would have definitely had two in, because Son gets in the head of Martinelli. Oh, yeah. On the left. Fair. It's it's the body of work. You've got to look at the body of work. And Kane gets in over any of their number nines. They wouldn't have a number nine. So Kane's got to... He's Stop gone. saying Kane's got it. It's finished, bro. It's finished. It's over. I thought it was over. I thought it was over. It's such a. Why did he do it? <laughs> hey, but look at look at what who you've got there through the middle now. Yeah, Son doing bits. Put him in, in Son. his rightful place. Yeah. So I mean, we. I mean, there's not uh, the, uh, our option really here. Um, this Should we put my, Martinelli in just quickly? Yeah. Just put do, we'll put it him in, but just just so in case there are any Spurs fans going, well, why don't you argue about this? Because we're talking about Man or Solomon. Richarlison. Let's not. No, not. no, we're not talking about Richard <laughs> okay. at all. <laughs> Brendan Johnson, one for the future. Yeah, not a left winger, right winger very much. Okay. Not a ring or a forward. The red chip's been placed anyway. It's yes, absolutely. To... Let's, let's move on. Do you want to go for centre forward? Yeah. Or do you want to go over to the right? Just so I can get a win. Yeah? Yeah. If, just for, like, is there an argument here? Because I know Hummin Son um, hasn't played his entire career through the middle, but he has done this season and that's where we're talking. So I'd say, I'd say 100% number nine, plays number nine for South Korea. More uh, ruthless, more lethal. If you're wanting to win the league in this imaginary world, this horrendous imaginary world where we're sharing players, um, <laughs> if we had to do that, you would want some up, up top. I don't know. Look, look, look at how many times Man City have won the league without an out striker. Liverpool won the league with Firmino getting, what, 12 goals? Mm. Modern day football has brought wingers being the, the bigger goal scoring threat than, than the strikers now, because that is an option of false. Now, listen, I'm not arguing that Sun doesn't deserve that Sounds position. Like you are. Can I also, can we just agree that the most important role of a striker is to score goals? Yep. Okay, that is why Harry Kane is a better striker than Thierry Henry. <laughs> oh scary. my God. Well, he's not. Well, you just agreed the parameter. <laughs> oh my God. We disagreed. Did we not well, just agree the parameter? Everyone the heard show. that. You said this yes. You're going to be getting more, you're 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 the you're you're gonna be getting more DM soon, mate. I'm telling you, at this minute now. He is, he is better than Henri, though. Let's just yeah, we'll, we'll save that for another one, because that's an hour in it. If you want to admit that, like, that's, yeah. There yeah. isn't a debate. Can I not goals. judge that one? That's fine. <laughs> uh, on the right hand side, uh, is this a, an easy one with Bukayo Saka or does yeah. Kulusevski have Look, any way? I, Kulis- Kulusevski has a conversation, but Saka is, is no, is the answer. Unfortunately, not for me. Um, and the video, because it would be interesting <laughs> if we could debate this, but obviously, no one is putting Saka above Kulusevski, but Kulusevski is an excellent, excellent, not just forward, but midfielder as well. And he will grow into this Bastogne Cogli team as a, a crucial aspect to our title-winning team in 2025. Interesting. <laughs> okay. And how many goals and assists does he get in that season? He's going to get 15 goals and 15 assists. Which doesn't really matter anyway because Sun's going to score 45, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. So there you go. The internet so doesn't forget, Slab. You know, if this pops up in 2025, then that would look good if you want it. I think I'll deal with it. I'll be able to cope. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, into the back line here, and let's start off with the centre backs. What always winds me up about this position is because Arsenal fans, they know they know about Saliba, right? We all know about that. Geez, oh, good, <laughs> right? But they'll go, oh no, but what about Gabriel? Which is not the conversation that we need to have. Gabriel can't be in a conversation with Romero. He cannot. Why not? Well, I don't know. One won a World Cup recently. Yeah, but we're talking Tottenham Arsenal. It's actually, we're talking Argentina, you know England. I know Van der Ven is better than Gabriel. You don't, right? How do you know, know that? 
I, I know it. I, I know it because I twelve can, games. I've seen seen it. No, I watched a lot of Wolfsburg last season. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Romero has quality and. He is a very good defender, but he's also a liability, Flav. And you know that. Cup. We've seen it many times. He is a liability. Do liabilities win World Cups? I don't think they do. Well, when you have Lionel Messi in the team, you can be a liability. That's an alien. Oh, right speaking there. of Lionel Messi, uh, a man who said he's the best centre-back in the world. Yeah, but... I, I appreciate and respect you, Turkish. Yeah, yeah. But I cannot have your opinion over Lionel Messi. <laughs> yeah. We know, yeah, Turkish, we know what Messi's doing. Higher, we know what Messi's doing. Than What's he doing? Is that Listen, that's like me saying Soyuncu is the, is the best defender in the world. I'm Turkish. I'm going to back my guys. <laughs> he's good. He's very good. Soyuncu is good. Yeah, right? yeah he's good. That's what we're agreeing. All right, look. James, you've tried to give him the assist for the midfield. I think it's time to give an assist here because okay. it, I no don't chance. understand how Flav's bought Romero to the Gabriel table when, listen, it has been close. I think it was close to maybe six to eight months ago. But this season, again, Romero's proven to be a liability. Romero's he hasn't been really, outstanding this season. In, in general. In terms of ability, it's, it's Saliba and Romero. That's it. First thing says, I think Saliba, do we agree on? <coughs> yes, we do. Easy. Yep. Easy. Off you get to nice next one. Okay. okay. For me, I think it's... Both. No chance. I think Gabriel is Gabriel is forgotten you about. Out of your they mind. are a great pairing. He scores a lot of goals. I think defensively he's good. He has to deal with a lot when Zinchenko <laughs> steps in here. I think he's very impressive. And I think because he's the B side, you kind of forget about him a little bit. But I, Romero scares me. I think he's uh, he is a liability. Do you still. know I was an usher at your wedding? Um, uh, yes. <laughs> we work to each other on a weekly basis. This is what you're doing to me on Land Bible. <laughs> For real, this is what you're doing to me. Do you know why you like me? Why? Well, I'm authentic. Honest. And so I'm sticking with how I... This, this is how bull I, I do today, not agree with this today at all. Today that's correct. This today is nonsense. Like, I do not bowl. agree with this at all. So this, whatever this is, I'm not signing off to. You can put me in the video. That's why they got us to sign off before the video started, yeah. mate. Is that, yeah, you're done. is that what we signed? Yeah. I, I agree with this. Your face is by this 11 come the thumbnail. This is bull <laughs> Romero is in there, how did Gabriel... Bull Fullbacks. 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 Do you want to like chat right. about the fullbacks? It, it gets worse. No, it doesn't get worse. It does get no, it doesn't get worse. worse. No, 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 no. <laughs> Turkish. Let's, let's Which one should we start with? Let's go, we'll go with right back. Poro. Okay. But Ben White isn't a right back. He's, defense, he's a centre back who's been made to play there. Okay, it was an argument between Ben White and Trippier last season for right back of the season. Easily. That's a good point. Trippier Easily. is probably number one. But That's yeah. fair. That's Again, fair. I don't mind that. I don't ben, mind ben, that. Ben White is not, is not a better. In terms of for Spurs, there's no world where I would want Ben White, over ben White and Tottenham over Pedro Poro. Come just on, doesn't. Bro. He's just not. He's not dynamic enough. He doesn't move move in the same way that Poro does. Poro's vision, his guile and his speed make him crucial to the kind of football that Spurs play. Ben White doesn't get. Ben anywhere. White can overlap and he can invert. I mean, well, he he's, can run in a straight line. That's good. He, 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 we can he, based on what what we need and actually Poro at Arsenal would do wonders. There's, there is no conversation What's here. I'm not even Ben Bloody White ahead of. I can't it. believe this. This is this is why this is why Ben White's very disrespected in this country. So I don't. I'm I don't, saying should be disrespected. I don't understand the. I disrespect him. How many players point. have you seen take Ben White to the cleaners? That defensively, he he, he has been solid for 18 months, and, and you forget he's moved over from right back. So he's also someone that comes in like this, and the modern day philosophy comes in like that. But we, you know, we can talk about that when we move on, move on to left back. But, but, but the other thing this is... This is Poro, yeah? Poro. No, 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 no. Yeah, Poro is this as well. <laughs> yeah. So this is where he's been playing. And then, voila, if you like. <laughs> so he's one of these, yeah? Yeah, some, they go like that, like that. And they go, well, kick it in the goal, bro. Yeah. Ben White, he does his job. He doesn't even like football. He does his job, he goes home. <laughs> he got selected for the World Cup. Something happened behind the scenes. And he said, F it. Let me go home, because I'm happy at home. Mm. He doesn't really give two shit about anything, but so come in 90 minutes, so in and out. Is that what you want? Yeah. So it, I don't want to play. As long as you perform, you lot had one of those back in the day. Asuo Koto, you never used to watch football. You lot used to love him. I did love him. That's, I don't know, that's quite a niche. This won't make the edit, but that is, that will go it check out Asuo Koto. It makes the edit. <laughs> really, that's how we love Asuo Koto, and he did hate football. He, yeah, he played for us as well. Actually. That definitely won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> how how I know I... you're feeling bad, James, because you... I am feeling bad. But, but really, this is incorrect. This can't... is incorrect, and I... that's incorrect. I think this is a much easier conversation if if the England thing's kind of not happening. That kind of makes you think, oh, he's not as good as he is. Like right back, England are stacked. I I, I can't not give it to him today. Today. <laughs> 
Today, it's I can't. It's the idea. No. This is the problem. This is don't the problem with these combined 11s, isn't it? Don't. Because the data set's not there this, for So them. Spurs have a problem, right? The Spurs have a problem. The reason you're here with me is you're supposed to give me some <laughs> stuff. I've got to deal with the comments as well. <laughs> I've got to deal with the comments. Don't worry about the comments. <laughs> what the, about me? The, the facts are, he is outrageously... Bull Bull I respect that. I respect that. No, no chance. I respect that a hell of a lot, because he is. I'm not talking about Zinchenko here. We must. We, no, we cannot. We've got we to must. finish the video, Fab. Adoki is better than Zinchenko. <laughs> He's a, some sort of cast off from City. Are you going to give them four at the back? Are you genuinely going to do this? I'd, I'd like to. I'd need to. <laughs> that was your weakest. No, 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 no. I, 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 I like Adoki, but that's your weakest argument of the Romero, um, Poro, and the Adoki. Adoki's not close. That is quite. That is quite convenient. Now we're here. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, so I categorically disagree with this and this. And I disagree with whatever mentalness you're going to do in a minute. Adogi's 12 games in the Premier League <laughs> have, been, have been really, really good. I agree. Uh, his ball carrying ability is amazing. If he was playing at Arsenal, they'd be like singing from the rooftops about him. The kid's ceiling is insane. In Italy, when he was playing Udinese, statistically the best wing, ba uh, wing back as he was playing back there in the, uh, in, in, in the league. I didn't give a <laughs> about Sinchenko. <laughs> I wouldn't want him anywhere near my team. But now we're going to say, well, no, hang on, no, so he's been there, he's, been, he's come from Manchester City, and then he's been playing for Arsenal in this new system that, that Arteta's had. It's, it, based on individual ability, it's a conversation. He's like, it's definitely you, a conversation. Of course he's it's a conversation. He's arguing you like you've already said there. It's, 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 I it's, know it's, what's coming. I never expected my left back to end up here or here. I'm, I'm, well, that's where Adogi I'm, plays. I'm, in that. No, no, 100%. But we're talking about Zinchenko for, in terms of the amount of time. He's come in here, done all of this, and we've challenged for a league title. Adogi's come here for 12 games, and, and it's been cute, but, you, but, you look but at all Zinchenko of these, is... You and and Tomiyasu even is ahead of Adogi in this position. But all Slow these... down. Yeah, I'm being real. No, no, he's not. He's not. <laughs> Slow down. The issue here, right, the issue here <laughs> is that these are players with that, that, are, that aren't bottle jobs, right? They haven't bottled. Because they've had yet nothing to bottle. to bottle. They are yet to bottle. They've had nothing to bottle. The, our, this, this team, Zinchenko included, bottled a fifth place finish, to get, uh, finish above Spurs to get to the Champions League team. Last season, completely capitulated and bottled the league. Actually, what you've created in this combined 11 <laughs> yeah. is at least seven or eight bottle jobs. <laughs> You're going to do it, aren't you? No, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, you f***ing are. So... <laughs> Just do it. If you're going to do it, do it. Because no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm done talking about Adogi. I think he had a real chance there with Adogi, but I don't, I don't well, know you fought. I don't think you fought for it properly. Well, for, after 12 games, how am I supposed to fight for someone who's won a league, way, James? Hey, you find a way. You James. go ceiling. You make it things that you can't actually prove just yet. You've let yourself down there. No, you've, let down. Yours. you've let me down. Pop it down Thank there, James. You've let me down. You've let me down, James. No one agrees with this. No one agrees. Well, let's know the comments. Comment section. Yeah, but they'll be full of Arsenal. We've still got one there. Yeah, that's Vicario. No, look, you, well, by, no, your, got, by your I've got own stats words. I've got stats yeah, but by one. your own words, you said 12 games is not enough to have an argument for a dog. Either. Behind Allison, he's, he's statistically the best shop stopper in the league. Uh, you don't even have a, a number games. one. You don't even know who your number one is. But, but they're both. David they're, Raya, no, by the way, was signing for Tottenham. And we looked at him and went, this, 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 all, all this guy wants is out of Brentford. That's exactly, that's, it was on record. Poster Coglu has said. We looked at him and got, no, we've got a better option than Vicario. This is his word. Again, Yet to be I respect proven. your opinion, Turkish, Yet to be proven. but you can't have an opinion that's more valid than Lionel Messi's when talking <laughs> about the best, the best centre back in the world, World Cup winner, not Gabriel, right? And this one, which he says, Vicario was is a better option, statistically a better option. Has been fantastic this season. Ramsdale is. Like, who are you putting what, forward? Right? Ramsdale's who are you number two. Forward? Yeah, so, like, yeah, if you're saying one? you've got, yeah, which one? Who's, who's, the, who's the number one? Arteta hasn't said who's the number one. Arteta's number one is Raya. But listen, I put both ahead of Vicario. That's the problem. That's nonsense. 12 games this season doesn't trump Ramsdale's performances for Arsenal last so season. 12 games for Vicario remember, doesn't do trump you, Raya's performances do, for Brentford. Do, do you remember the issues, the, 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 the predictions about Tottenham Hotspur and the way they play football? They're going to concede so many goals. Oh, like high line, high line, so high. You saw a game against Chelsea, you had nine men, down nine men, we're playing everything on the high line, high line. The reason why we haven't conceded in the way that everyone anticipated is because of this man. Um, look, I'm going to give this one to Flab legitimately. <laughs> uh, like, I all of them are legitimate. I expected it. Relationship saved. I expected it. <laughs> Relationship saved. Because... It's a true. A couple of reasons. I think we've got to focus on this season to a point because that is a difficult thing with a lot of the, the top ones. Mm -hmm. Second one is like to, to be in the position that he has to play in your first 12 games in the Premier League 
and to do what he's done and yeah. play the way he's played. That is a lot of pressure and a lot of decisions that you've got to get right. And he's done, and also, you know, forget that. The other side of it, when you're, you're playing out from the back, you're constantly dealing with a lot of pressure from that side of it as well. For him to step in and do what he's done, I think has been incredibly impressive. And I would say, I think Arteta has made a mistake with the way that he's handled it. I think but, he should have shown a lot more clarity mm -hmm. and it's led to both those goalkeepers being a little bit ner nervy, yeah, yeah. Being, there being this whole story around them. And if you are playing a final tomorrow, I don't think it's a question. I think it's Vicario. For the, for the record, if we're judging it on this season, then Vicario, I agree with that. Okay, um, Okay. so my, my first 11 wouldn't be this. It would include Romero, Pedro, Porro and Adogi, right? And you would have... Ben Tenkor and Madison. And you actually said eight Tottenham players getting at the beginning, remember? Did I say eight? <laughs> and look, we've got eight reds. Struggle come. Beautiful. Yeah. So there we have it. But we haven't got eight reds, right? You and Jim have got eight reds. And we reds. put a red here as well for our Mikel. Well, do, uh, yeah, so do we do managers <laughs> or anything like that? Nah, yes. nah. oh, right, okay. <laughs> nah. Brilliant. That's right. 12, a body of work of 12 games, good. Again, so Arteta has been there for five years. For 600 million, 800 million pounds spent. Yeah, let's compare them, that's fair. Go on then. <laughs> Come on then, get, the, get them out. We started already. Get, get them out. <laughs> Let's discuss this in a year's time, shall we? There we go. Right, I'll we'll happily come back in a year's time because it'll be a lot easier than this. Uh, okay. Can we shake on it at the end? 100%. No, 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 hang on a second. I, I have to shake your hand because it's extended, right? Because I, I, I wouldn't But you don't do agree? Well, I'm not shaking hands on this. No, 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 you said a year's time at Anjum. All right, all right, all right. A year's time, if they'll have us, yeah. We'll see you in a year's time, guys. Go easy in the comments. Right, the next one, I know it's a bit close to your heart. Obviously, you're a good pal or a certain person on that board. And he works for him now as well. It's <laughs> hilarious. Come on. What are you going to do to your yeah, boss? <laughs> <laughs> you lot shouldn't oh, have done this. That's naughty. You shouldn't have done random this. Random generator. Yes, and that's not a random generator. Random generator. A producer knew what he was doing and he did their job perfectly. <laughs>